Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. Um, really quick disclaimer. This is a channel where we talk about cross stitch. Um, cross stitch and smile yeah. is in our name. We also sometimes chat a little bit about life bits, and um, I just want to say really quickly, if you don't like us, please do not feel the need to watch, because we've had someone in particular comment quite a few times only about our personal lives only negatively. Even negatively as well yeah. yeah and the thing is like i'm always up for a conversation i do not think i'm in the right 100 percent of the time and i always want to hear the other perspective there was a particularly nasty comment left last week which you will not go find if you go back and have a look i've deleted it um but yeah not very nice and very personal so can we just mention a lot of assumptions about the comment as well it had been made and then we'd seen afterwards it had been edited so the person who commented could just double down on what they were saying. Like, if you really have that much of like, an opinion that you formed and made assumptions on us. Because we talk quite openly but the, the things that were said in that comment were, went to a very deeper level than we've ever discussed so it can only be like, it's definitely just assumptions that have been made this oh, person then the person doubled down said, on. You know, I'm not going to get into it. I don't want to give it any more light than it needs to get. Mm. Um, it, I think it was left to upset us, and it did a little bit, but also, you know, just don't don't watch next time. Um, I don't want to upset you, and I don't want to be upset. And I still want everyone to leave comments as normal because this is the thing. I was talking to him about it, and like 999.999% of our comments yeah. are so lovely, and I love, like. Everyone, everyone who is watching us whether you comment or not whether you message me or not like everyone is so kind it's just this one individual it so it just has only ever been one person one that's ever like, throughout the entire time we've done these videos it's only ever been one person that's made any negative remarks and it's been the same person over and over again they've never interacted with anything nice because the other thing is like i don't just count normal comments if someone disagrees with something i've said or corrects me or something that's not a negative comment yeah. like that's it's not that's that. what you mean it like, was we're open for discussion else. and yeah. everything but as soon as you start doubling down on something and then editing your comment to like write war and peace the about how thing, you don't agree with us and we're wrong the thing that upset me the most about it and you know what the first comment before i got edited i was like I'm just gonna not engage yeah. you know it's fine that's that person's views I don't necessarily agree but they don't know my background so I'm not gonna get into it because I don't want to I don't want to explain my life to everyone and say you shouldn't have to either. this is why I feel like this and this is what happened to me and whatever and I don't need to so I'm not going to but then when they went back and edited it there was mention of my family who are not on our videos Bella gets mentioned very rarely and she is shown even more even rarely rarer, yeah. um, and my mum has I think been in one video and it was our Disney video so they are not like as soon as you can talk about me I put myself out there yeah. you can talk about Rye he puts himself out there as soon as you bring other people into it who are not asking to be in our content they're in one or two videos mm. I'm sorry but the comment had to go I didn't want anyone else to see it and be upset or I think that this person was right in what they were saying because they just weren't like at but all not, so sorry not only was it us that the comment would affect but how it was directed it would definitely affect other people in our comment section and the majority of the been... comments last week was so positive and so like mm. um i can't think of the word like not encouraging but like understanding helpful, yeah. helpful. Um, Pagan Stitcher, if you're watching, and the little bit at the beginning hasn't scared you off, um, I would really like if you could send me some more information, please. Um, I saw the comment and I was like, oh yeah, but I didn't want to reply to that comment, and only that comment at the time, because I didn't have time to do everyone's comments. So if you wouldn't mind sending me the information, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, it was just, I don't, I don't want to go into it mm. anymore. It was just one of those things where it's like, actually, if you don't like us, you don't have to watch and that's okay and we're not gonna make anyone watch and I would rather you just spent time watching people that made you happy. Yeah, why, why waste your time like, sort of watching us if you don't like us that much? Yeah. That's so all. that's all. On a more positive note, thank you to everyone who dropped book recommendations for me in either 
YouTube or comment there on my Instagram. Like, or message me. Or message you, yeah. I have a whole library to read now, don't I? And this is what I mean, like, <laughs> everyone else is so, like... Amazing. Nice, so it was just um, an anomaly. Um, I want to yeah. This week's video is going to be a long one, and oh, it's a oh. bit of a task. So if you've seen our last video, you will know that I was like, I want to do a 1% sell. Mm. So what that means for anyone who missed last week's video or is new or anything, um, I have a lot of whips on the go. Um, it was <laughs> like 40 something by the last video we did. Yeah, I'm just laughing. Um, which I'm very fortunate to have, you know, I, this is my only hobby really, I put a lot of money into this, but, you know, I'm yeah. fortunate to do that. Anyway, um, I am very lucky. Um, so I have a lot of whips and they are in various stages of being done and I tend to focus on one project and then when I get bored of that I start a new one and I don't go back to the old ones. So basically I wanted to hit an extra 1% from my point that I'm at right now. So say world map, say I need to get my other one plugged in and charging so I can check it, but say I was on 1.3%, by the end of the year I wanna be on 2.3%. That's how I wanna do it. So not hit the next full percent, I wanna go 1% more yeah. than one now. And for the projects that I cannot track percentage, mm -hmm. I, my stomach's making noise because I haven't had lunch. Um, I want to hit three hours worth of stitching on it, or like one day, basically. Mm. Because for some of my whips, that would be enough to hit 1%. For some of my whips, it would be over that. For some of my whips, it would be nowhere near what map, shelf life, what? you know. So I wanted to pull everything out anyway because I need to go through and make a big list. Because for me, in my mind, what better way to stay motivated than to have a checklist? I'm a big list person yeah. and I Check wanted a big list to go through and tick off like I've done this one, I've done this one, I've done this one and then someone messaged me and was like please make a big list so that we can see your progress and I was like that's an even better idea, sorry I was about to yawn then, that's an even better idea because people can hold me to account then and also if anyone ever has questions about my stitching, the title and design and everything, information will be on there. So I've started a Google like spreadsheet thing mm -hmm. um, with them, but I was doing it from memory and I was not feeling very good at the time, so there was like five things on there. Um, so I thought today, do you know what? I need to pull my whips out anyway, get them in this big list. Why don't we just have a mini whip parade? I'll quickly show them because that will also mean that it is the starting point for the 1% sale. Exactly. So between now and December 31st, I will have a starting point and an end point, and hopefully they will all have progressed a substantial amount. Are you ready? Ready as ever, Captain. We are going to start with Rye's whips, and if Rye looks busy or like uninterested during my whips, it's because I've given him the task of writing everything down, because I need a full list of whips. I don't need to know the percentage at the minute, I don't need to know whatever, I need the name mm -hmm. and... I can add the designer later because I know if I know the title of the chart, I have pretty good memory of like, oh, that's this person, that's that person. So Rai's going to be doing that while I'm showing mine. I'm kind of like, the, is it the cleric? The person who takes, like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going for like here. my admin. Yeah, basically. I do have a third whip, but I'm not 100% sure where it was, but at the same time, it did need restarting. So that's up in the air at the moment. Okay. It was... One of the Woodcut series by Night Spirit Studios. Oh, you just went wrong on that <clears throat> somewhere, didn't you? Yeah, because I wasn't used to the count fabric because it was higher and it was really dark, so I just couldn't see what I was mm -hmm. doing. Dark or dark. Yeah, so that needs a restart, but that's fine. That's one of those. So to start us off, we have... You're joining in in the 1% aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I have to get my things. Yeah. <laughs> we have Leshy by The Witchy Stitcher. Is it yeah? called Leshy? Guardian of the Woods slash okay. Leshy, I believe. Okay. So I actually shared this on my Instagram after I'd done some last week, and people seem to really love the, like the sort of the color of I think it's a fourteen count Ada. Love the color of this Did alongside they? yeah, alongside that because what I'm kind of thinking is when it's stitched up, it'll look like a page from, you know, in like those old monster movies where they open the big book and it's like. Look how covered in yeah, you are. From a project bag. But you know when there's those old, it's like a Vincent Price monster book, mm -hmm. monster movie maybe, and they open the big book and it's like, it's got like the monster and recorded history mm -hmm. of it, this, that and the other. I think it's going to look really cool, like one of those. 
So I'm very excited about that. When when that gets further progressed, I'm gonna stitch on that after this video, I think. I just had a thought. What's your thought? I might have to order a PSL. Oh my goodness. They're out and I've only had a couple and we need something while we're going. My drink's nearly empty. I have water. Oh, I had a right time with my water. We won't get into it. It was... Rai shouted. He was like, oh my god, oh my god. So I ran through. A Literally crisis. ran. And he was like, I punched my water. Not quite like that. Where is... Um, it's on the top. Missed it entirely. <laughs> I was trying to fit ice in my... Uh, water bottle and it was too big so I was like I'm a big strong man I'm just gonna push it through and then I did and then my full fist went into the top of my <laughs> I was like dunked. In a minute. This is Cricket Collector series. It's so I never know if it's the cross-eyed cricket or cricket collection I think it's because cricket collection. it's cricket collection but is that the designer or is that the name of this series? But this was my retreat piece so that's part of a house there with it could be a tree, it could be a tentacle. Who knows? I think it's a woman. I thought it was a tentacle. I think we had this discussion at retreat though. Can I take a picture of it? Yeah, of course. Let me fold it up. Do I'm going to try and take pictures. Um, so we've got um, at the whip parade. My camera's are dirty. At the whip parade at the end of the year, um, I can show it before and after. I'm trying not to like rattle my drink too much because it's got, I did get the ice in there in the end. No lemon water this week, though. There we go. That's a good one. I'll put it off. I'll put it in this project bag. <sighs> this is going to be a long video, guys. I hope that you all have a snack and a drink. Now would be a good time to get one before we get into mine. Yeah, because mine is going to be like... This is where you this were talking is... about um, getting your PSL, I would imagine. So, <laughs> had to stop the camera then just because I had to set up my laptop and my stitching tablet and get the notebook for right so that I can find out the percentage that I'm currently on and where I can make a list. Yep. Ready? So I am the admin of the day. Hey. Um, here we go. It's upside down. What a good start. Off to a flyer. Um, here is a, with a pointed fifth. Pointed fifth. Oh. oh, sorry, Ray. Move over a bit. Let me show you. This is on a lovely purple fabric that doesn't look as nice on camera as it does in real life. Like, it's such a nice purple. Um, yeah, I started this when we went to retreat. The Floss Friends retreat. Mm. I had to think about what it was called then. Because you'd started it once before, hadn't you? I did. Twice before. Twice actually. before. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm really bad at, um, <clears throat> oh, I don't like how this is going. I'm going to start again. Yeah. I think one of the times it was the fabric wasn't big enough. Mm -hmm. So this is being done on 46 count uh, linen. Yeah, I'm gonna load this. I'll tell you the percentage in a sec. Oh, I like that little tongue out moment. So at the minute, mm -hmm. for the pointed fifth, yep. I'm 801 stitches in, and that is 1.19%. Warm. We're filming this on like one of the hottest days ever. England, if if you're an English person in the UK at the moment, well, if you're in the UK at the moment, if I mean. If you're an English person in the UK. Yeah. Uh, it is so hot right now. Like, it wasn't even that this hot over the summer, and now mm. it's September, so it's like. Whew. Jess is having a think. I'm having an upset moment because I love this fabric and I started it, this piece weirdly in the middle. Right, here is number two. So this is the chopping mall. And I can't track the number of stitches on this. However, this is not the right version. So this was my first attempt. But look how much extra fabric I left at the top. I don't know what I thought I was doing with this piece. And then Billy I miscounted blue. somewhere and it was messing up the whole piece. So I just restarted this uh, on a blue piece of fabric. I'm hoping it's in one of these boxes somewhere because I had a big tidy out, not tidy out, but like clean up, mm. and I've just put my whips everywhere, kind of, so I'm hoping that they will be appearing later in this video, but that was a nice find because I found some of the sparkly floss that's used for that. So, <sighs> next up, yep, yep, yep. this is, got this around, Mirabilia, uh, the Snow Queen, 
and again I can't track the percent or anything but that's my restart on that one as well because I did start it originally on this really gorgeous fabric that was a 40 count so it was all wrong so this is my restart and I have miscounted somewhere in the cream but I'll just go back and fix that mm. um yeah this is the reindeer um like the reins and that's the front of the snow queen there so that'll be good that will be good oh. quite like that one Whew. next up is quite a few different ones that actually I really need to focus on getting some of these finished because I am involved in a exchange, Halloween exchange, as part of the Floss Friends group, and I wanted some of these to be for that, so. Mm. So I'm going through and listing all these individually. Yeah. So, Gold Hidings. Yeah. Uh -huh. Crafting Bat. I'm still on Gold Hidings, so just go through your. So I'll show you. There's Gold Hidings. There's the crafting bat. There we go, after crafting bat. Stitched spookies. I'm not a fast writer. I think, I believe this is the pumpkin, but obviously it doesn't really matter at the minute. Yep. And Season of the Witch. How amazing that I know what that is. It's only because I did it last week. And that's been done on a 56 count linen, which I really like. But my plan is to make these into like little scissor fobs and stuff, so that fabric looks purple there, doesn't it? It does a bit, yeah, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, I need to put some working on those if they're going to get done for the exchange. I might put those quite high on the priority list. Mm. Oh. The good thing is about them, if they're going to be like quite small ones, you can just sort of smash, smash them, them out. out. Yeah. Uh, next one. This is... A line. <laughs> this is... Oh my gosh. Sorry, my needle got stuck there. Goes this way. Um, Festive Frosted Pumpkin House by The Witchy Stitcher on some amazing fabric. I don't know, I believe it's Chromatic Alchemy, but I bought this at retreat from the exchange table, so love it. Because I remember the label said Chromatic Alchemy. Okay, next one. Mm, this must be on my other one. Hmm? It's not sea houses. No, but, but you know yeah. what I mean. Um, this is the Dorian Spencer Davies Gecko Ho 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 Four. I'll write Ho 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 Four for the minute. Because I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But if you give me one second, I will pull up info. It kind of feels like on a podcast or something where they like pull up this like and then it'll be like some sort of image that they've been talking about. Thank you. You're welcome, yeah. <laughs> Do you think we could be a podcast? I don't know. Could we be a podcast? I'd like to do a podcast. What would you podcast about? Stitching. Stitching cast? Yeah. I'm going to talk about ghosts. We should do a combination one. Pattern keepers loaded. Trying to think of how we could like sort of fuse the two together. We talk with different. Well, if we stories. did a visual one, we could film stitching and talk about. Well, you couldn't really do an audio stitching one. I don't think that would work. <laughs> You'd have to keep describing what you're doing. No, but audio-wise, we could do a podcast where it just talks about like different methods and like news and talk to designers. That would be good. That would be good. Full interviews. But every now and then though, we'll slip in a ghost episode, but just not tell people. Yeah. Or like in the middle of like, we'll be in discussion with the design, and we'll randomly cut the conversation with like, this spectre. Ready? Ready. So that Ready? piece has 1,296 stitches in it. One, two, three. Yep. And that is 2.24%. I would recommend, I know Black Friday's coming up and there is no way I would have got this computer was it not for Black Friday, but um, if you are interested in getting a tablet or something for Black Friday, I would definitely recommend having a look on Amazon because I got my big stitching computer, it's a Chromebook, um, but 
you can get pattern keeper on it you just have to make sure they've got the google star like the play star mm. on there um and i love this thing this is my at home tablet isn't what it what's your devices the lenovo i've just realized this isn't lenovo is it move your hand oh lenovo chromebook yeah but no oh. <laughs> big words there well there we go then i i like lenovo personally apparently yeah, apparently um so that's that piece I don't think we're going to buy much for Black Friday. Could you put that down there? I don't think we're going to buy much for Black Friday this year. I might, I might buy a new Fitbit. Like, because we were talking about upgrading to the bigger ones, weren't we? Oh, we started running. Yeah, we're, we're runners now. Mm. I have a water pack that I wear on my back, and when I run, it sloshes uncomfortably. So, you'll hear me before you see me. Here is the chopping mall again. Do you want me to record this one as well? No. This is restarted on a 46 count linen or even weave i don't know it's a linen it just looks very even started at the top this time <laughs> and i actually have a deadline of this for like i would say maybe april next year so that should probably be pretty high up on there before, before you put that down before you put that down you asked me if i could use a loom but i can't even weave as a loom joke. My goodness. <laughs> okay. You get everything on this channel. Um, moving swiftly along. Why do you have to be swift about it? It was hysterical. It was a good joke. It was. I just thought of that as well when you said even way. You'd probably see me thinking in the video. Here is, what's this piece for? I, I know what it is, but I wanted to say the haunting of Hill House. No. Because that was one of the comments we got. Halloween at Hopper, Hopper and Hollow. Hollow. Um, being stitched on 40 count, yep, 40 count over two. This piece is in dire need of an iron. Um, this is not a piece that I have the percentage information for because it's all a paper pattern. And I guess I could try and upload it into Pattern Keeper, but I don't know, I just haven't tried. Probably it's should. just one of them, isn't it? I really love that piece. That's I probably like gonna that get piece. some love around Halloween time. That's one of my favourite pieces of yours. I know. You always like it when I pull it out. Ready? Yeah. So this is Nightingale by Mirabilia. I have not done much on this piece at all. You can't oh yeah you can, there we go. I think this piece is gorgeous. So yeah. Like I said, I'm hoping this video is not going to be too long. I just want it to be a mini whip parade because I'm just going to fly through. What's really upsetting is that I didn't count before and we've gone past 10 and we didn't celebrate. Aww. We're on to 11 whips now. Well, that piece is a 46 count and I'm stitching over three on that. So that's a little bit difficult when you go from a stitching over yeah. two to then stitching over three. It's like, oh, feels mm. a little bit wrong, but it's fine. It it's working naughty. good. That's 11 of your whips, by the way. I'm not counting my two. Do you want this piece? I don't think that is a piece here, is oh, it? Oh, it's not. Is it my fabric? Yeah. I was looking for some of my fabrics the other day. I put them all in um, my fabric bag. I'll pop it on bag the side Bag O fabric. Bag O fabric, did you oh, say? Bag O fabric. Like bag O fabric. Yeah. No, I, I got it. Oh, here's a finish, guys. Not from this year. Um, Big Dilly Circus. It literally like looks like it's cardboard. <laughs> It's so thick. Don't show the back. I still haven't washed it. Still. Mm -hmm. I need to wash that and get it done this year. Every time you're like, oh, I'm going to wash it, you get a bit like, panicky because you're like, I just oh, worry that I'm going to mess wrong. it up. But I need to get over that fear and just do it. Oh, there's... Oh, there's my wood cut. So there we go. <laughs> that's that's my wood cut. It'll probably need restarting because there's a bit of a, a boo-boo on it, but that's fine. We move. I'm trying to work... I'm trying to, sorry, I'm trying to work out now what's um, whips and what is stash. Oh, so there's my project bag. There's Rice project bag. Here's my project I bag. I just tidied everything into the boxes, like I said. So if you're missing anything, have a look in those. There's some nice fabric, but not for today. Index cards. Got to use them. I don't want to set up like that. I wrote, I got index cards to use as like um, little scripty bits for videos, mm. but I've not needed them yet. This video not brought to you by index cards. Apparently not. Da na 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 shell fly. Oh gosh. 
shelf life is just a behemoth. Is this the proper one? Mm -hmm. Not one you restart, right? Just so I know. I did restart this, but this is the update yeah, version. Yeah, that's what I mean. This is the newest version. Uh, this has been stitched one over one, half cross and 32 count. If I leave any information out like that, I'm hoping to include it on the um, big List. spreadsheet. So I'll leave it linked down below if anyone's interested. Um, Ta-da! How good does it look? I always forget and then I pull it out and I'm like, oh, I want to work on it. And I see other people stitching them and I'm like, oh, I want to pull mine out now. I just love it. And I like kind of started going along the top. So there's like, I think this is a drum. Yeah. Past the water tower. If you've seen this piece, I'm hoping you know which water tower bit I'm on about. Oh. Most Judah water towers. Put it back in. Um, this is a waterproof pillowcase cover if anyone's interested. I buy them for my big projects that have a lot of fabric. Mm. I love that piece. I want to start stitching on that again. Um, that piece is on 14,672 uh, yep. stitches. Yep, yep, yep. And that's 1.47%. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to need to do 10,000 stitches. 10,008 to hit another 1%. So just for context, ho 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 number four, that's 1,290 current stitches and that's 2.24%. So, yeah. yeah. big, basically. Um, what, which piece did you just say? The Christmas one? Yeah, ho 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 number four. So that piece is, 57,000, nearly 58,000 stitches, whereas this one's over a million. You're pulling out the stats for you now, aren't you? I am, if anyone's interested. This is also going to be helpful for me to refer back to when I'm making my list, so. We're like cataloguing it basically, aren't we? Yeah. Whip catalogue. Here is With Wednesday. Me. Or as Bella calls it, Tuesday. I did a restart of this, so if you think, I've seen her stitch that before and I'm sure she was on more than that, I was, but I, preferred when i bought it i didn't i hadn't done a full coverage mm. and he bought me the 25 count and since then i've decided i like 28 count a lot more for full coverages and doing tent stitch so yeah wednesday is on 8120 mm -hmm. and that's 7.05 percent All my plans is. of getting a piece done by the end of the year have kind of gone out the window because I just want to progress on all of them. So this is Bohemia. I started in the bottom right corner. Mixed it up a bit, didn't you? <laughs> I did. And you can see, I think I started her foot. So you might be able to see her foot there and then the dress and then it swoops round. And I started doing fish up here. That's the most recent thing that I've done. Um, this piece is double the size of Wednesday, pretty much. That's all I can remember size-wise, so let me just pull it up. So this piece, I've done 6,152 stitches, and that's 2.73%. Yep. And the flosses are in that bag. I always end up with bits of like even weave hanging off me. Right, next project. Oh my goodness, I can't remember what this one is. Um, I like the name of it. Mm. So this is, I'm gonna describe it and I'm gonna hopefully look up the name later. So this is Owl Forest Embroidery. Yep, I'll write. And it's the one with the big cat on it. So if you write down that, Owl Forest, Owl Forest Embroidery Cat, I'll look up the name and I'll put it in my big spreadsheet. So if anyone wants to do it. I can't remember. I think this one's in Pet and Keeper, but I couldn't get it in properly. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's missing. It's not totally accurate, but I've done 302 stitches, which is about 5%, but it, I did have to cut off some of the bottom to get it to import to Pet and Keeper. There we go. 
I prefer a point for a big cut and then the stitch count in the percentage. Thank you. Next one. This is. Is this Queen of the Earth? Queen of the Dark Queen of the Earth. You were correct. I'm gonna have to make sure I get this the right way around. On the most amazing like fabric, I have to say. love this piece this piece is like just ended the cell and um, so i need to go through really and just catch her up Blitz finish her out. off yeah get her done but yeah that was all done in like a space of a couple of days so i don't think it would really take that long no. to stitch um but i just put it down when we got back from holiday and didn't pick it back up mm. again so there we go do you have a count or anything with that one or is that no one that tracked? one um isn't tracked fairy in a butterfly yeah I'm just trying to work out which one is. Yeah. It's this one. Um, so I restarted this one. This is Fairy on a Butterfly by Heaven and Earth Design. Um, this is a slightly modified version. So it's already a mini, but there was like a whole row here or something, not a row, a column, that I thought, I don't need mm. that. It doesn't take away from the design not having it. And I want to get it stitched as fast as I can. So again, this isn't going to be an entirely accurate, um, yeah, because I didn't mark it off on the chart in case I went back later and added in those stitches, but I believe I'm 5,148 stitches in. Mm -hmm. That's stitched with CXC if anyone was curious. And look how good it looks. And it's 6.74%, but actually it's never going to get to 100%. So I've just zoomed out so you can't see. Let me hold it up. So there we go. I'm missing about five columns, but there wasn't anything substantial in there. So I just thought, just to get it yeah. done quicker, which is a good tip actually. Um, and you can always go back in and add it later. But should you really want to? Yeah. So that's that. Knocking stuff everywhere. Oh yeah. Aww. Oh, reaping love. This is reaping love. Well done, right? Uh, Silver Creek Samplers, I believe. I love this piece. I think it's so cute. Do I have it? No, I don't. It's a paper chart. So that'll just be getting three hours. And I believe it's on Fox and Rabbit Ballet Slipper. Um, what's this? Oh, here's my um, other start on The Pointed Fifth, which I'm not going to be continuing, but... It feels so satisfying that I don't want to get rid of that. Mm. So I'm probably going to frog these bits around it, keep the house, keep the birds, and make that into something, and then just use the rest of the fabric for the bits. So we don't need to write that down again. That's a UFO because I've yeah. started again. Next one. Oh, another UFO. Here is the Supernatural style. Do you want me to record that one? Then? No. Cool. Not going to be stitching on that this year, but I, I want to use the fabric for something else. Mm. So that's that and then that is just fabric and these two are the same so I'm only going to show one. <gasps> oh, I just exported a pattern I need to take this off my lap <laughs> and there we go so this is a Barbara Anna and I want to say it's called holidays are coming or Christmas is coming or I something like that the first one. it's basically a snail with Santa um, and I did it on green and it didn't look good, so I started again on red. So I need to go back to that. Um, now, I definitely had that on... A device. A device, but I... Oh, there it is. Um, so I'm about 2.23% of the way through that. But I don't want to work out the stitches because it imported twice, so I had to highlight one of them fully. So mm. I know the percent, but I don't know the number of stitches. I am boiling going through this. We need like a big fan or something, don't we? We do. Um, this is another one. So this is Kathy Barrick, and it's Amelia Prescott and the way her mother did teach her, or something along those lines. I'm very close, if that's not the exact title. This one is going to be a restart uh, because I just thought the numbers were too small. I just started writing it down. That's fine. 
Um, it'll be added to the list, but I'll put that one as very low priority because that one will need restarting on a bigger piece of fabric over two, mm. I think. What do we think this one is? Oh, I think I know what this one is. I do. Oh, I love yes. this piece. Counties of England? Um, the real counties <laughs> of Great Britain, I want to say. And this is a black work piece. I just love this piece so much. I don't actually know where that um, outside colour is, so I might have to find some more of that. But I did find the tag from it earlier. <laughs> I love that piece. Um, I want to say it's Mary Hickmott, who I actually Rims bought though. some more stuff from the other day. That was on Etsy, and I just love it. I really enjoy black work. Mm. I really enjoy... Um, <laughs> Back stitching as well, which I know a lot not a lot of people do, but I can't do it. I like it, so Still I'll do any that you have. How many are we in? We are. Well, I know that was 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We've done it again. <laughs> One off every time. Promises kept. This is promises kept. Good job. Oh, it's got an, it's literally got a needle sticking halfway through it. How have you managed that? I don't know. I'm going to take that needle off and put it in this because I need it out of the way. There we go. Uh, this is Promises Kept. This is a Dimensions Gold kit. And I don't have a percentage for this because it's a paper pattern. Oh, I just love it. I think it's pretty. And it's mm. on this really nice um, iridescent, That's like it's got glitter in it. The kit as well, isn't no, it? it's not. I bought oh. the fabric separate. I thought it was. But this kit's older than I am, so I'm really excited to be able to work on it. Yeah. I love this piece. Every time I pull it out, and then I put it away, and I forget that I have it. So mm. I need to work on that. Oh. I was about to ask how many we were on, and I was like, no, I just did that. 22 now, I believe. This is Christmas presents. I had to think about what that was called then. If you saw me go... <laughs> I'm gonna guess it goes this way. There's not much of a start on that. Um, I'm hoping to do this as a stocking. I um, I started, you know earlier, I was like, I'm gonna take a picture, so we've got a starting point. I took a picture of yours, and that's yeah. it. <laughs> so I'll just I go, that. I'll take screenshots as this video's going. Um, bit of fluff on that. This piece, uh, I've kitted up with CXC as well. If I'm off screen, I'm really sorry. I'm just trying to find. Yeah, you just disappear and do your little floor oh, right no. there, don't you? What? Is it not on there? No, but oh, I do yeah. have it. I do have it done somewhere. somewhere. I did it as a stocking. So it might be on my other tablet. So, yeah, yeah, well, you'll find it. I'll find hopefully. it. Hopefully. I have faith. That's basically like. A brand new start though, because it really doesn't have many stitches on. Call me George Michael, because I have faith. <laughs> What's this one, right? Meandalorian? Correct. This is another Gecko Rouge kit. This is 28 count, um, two over one half cross. I started this when we went to America to get married. I was going to say, that was the first time we went to America. Because mm -hmm. you were stitching it when, I think we were in the arcade with Bella. Yeah. I wasn't in the arcade, yeah, I garden. had to wait with all the luggage. Um, well, we all took turns guarding the luggage. Yeah, but yeah. I had something to do. Like, if anyone yeah. else was sat there, they would have just been sat there. I at least had something that could keep me occupied. So, yeah, that's that. This, I definitely have a stitch count for. So this is on 1,795 stitches, which is one point nine one percent oh you're close to that two percent mark on this one that one's a gift <coughs> so if it gets finished brilliant if it doesn't it'll be a gift for next year that's mm. how i'm seeing it oh i love this piece too i just remember that was i might restart this yeah i might restart this on a bigger piece of fabric mm. so this is oh i'm not sure of the name of this it's the bumblebee Stitchy Princess um, piece. Do you want me to record it? Yes, please, because I would like to maybe finish it actually, because it's quite cute, so small. This is 32 count fabric, um, 
and I'm stitching over one and I think it's so sweet. I started this on that trip to America as well because I was stitching on it in the car. Remember that? <laughs> What's next? Oh, here's another season of The Witch. <laughs> Do you want me to write this one down? Could you just put times two for the one <laughs> earlier? Because I would like to finish this. If I could get this finished for the exchange, that would look so cute. I actually finished um, a witchy stitcher piece onto a box mm. for the gift exchange one year when we went to retreat. And I think this would look great in that style. I think the one I did for that retreat was also a sti witchy stitcher. Stitchy witcher. a yarn by the oh, way. Yeah. <laughs> oh here's oh, my piece. Here's my piece that I miscounted very slightly on. So one of the stitches is over three and I haven't worked out where it is yet but um so this is two pieces. This is a year in the woods um and it's the raccoon and I want to say the jackrabbit. Now the jackrabbit is where I've gone wrong. Somewhere in the legs they're not quite lining up. But the raccoon is right. And I love the raccoon. Um, kind of reminds you of Pippin, doesn't it? does remind me of... Um, Pippin's our dog. Reminds me of him. So that's two pieces. Yeah, I've got them. You're in the woods and then a raccoon and jackrabbit. And I don't have a stitch count for those because they have paper presents. I also drew you a little picture. I saw. Mm. Thank you. You're most welcome. Okay. This is... Uh, Mama Witch X Stitch, and I can't remember the name of it. So if you just write that, yeah. I think this is my only piece started by them. I can't remember the name of it. It's like a pumpkin man with ghosties, I think. Um, but yeah, cute. What is next? That's just a fabric. I was like, this looks like my Hawker and Hollow piece of fabric, but I don't have more than one of those started. And that's because my Hawker and Hollow fabric was inspired by this fabric. <laughs> so this is um, Snowman, Snowman Collector series. series. So there's five. So Can I just do times five? Do you want to write down the actual titles of them for me, if mm. I tell you them? So there is The Needle Worker, The Clown, Mm -hmm. Um, the shepherd and the postman they're the ones I've started so far and I think it's nearly finished so I'm really behind um, the pirate that's come out is my favourite so far I'm really excited to stitch that so I need to finish this because how cute is it going to look all stitched up mm. I need to add um I want to get a cone of 3865 because I just, all these snowmen are 3865, so. Need a lot. Oh, ready? Ready. Here is Eddard Stark, I believe is the name of it. It's, um, yeah, I'm holding it the right way up. It's a Gecko Rouge piece and it's Medusa Dollmaker and it's Game of Thrones, so I just was like obsessed. Everything. Found it on eBay, so I'd recommend eBay for any Everything. out of print gecko rouges because do you know what one of the gecko rouge kits that i've always wanted mm -hmm. is the deadpool one mm. and you know it's nowhere everyone wants it but if anyone has the deadpool medusa doll maker gecko rouge kit and they're willing to part with it i will be happy to take it off your hands i just love it so much and i'm obsessed yeah but i don't think that piece is ever going to come out again so you know that's mainly what I look for on eBay when I'm looking at Gecko Rouge pieces. I'm not going to finish this piece this at this present time, so it's not going on the list. Cool. Um, oh, that one. Oh. How many are we in so far? A lot. Am I counting the individual snowmen as well? Yes. Okay, so... Twenty-seven. Yeah. Yeah. I'm only gonna count one of them. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. 
So this is the Stocking Cowboy Snowman. I'm stitching it for Rye. I love this piece. Um, it's a Haid and I am 3.29% of the way into it. I've done 3737 three, stitches and that's been stitched one over one half cross on no sorry two over one half cross on 32 count don't know why I did two over one that's gonna be thick oh see this is my um Abby Sue designs Disney 50 Disney 50th celebration and I just don't know whether I'm gonna finish it so I'm gonna leave that off this list I know that I was like I want to finish everything I want to stitch and everything but I'm just gonna leave it for now that's your piece it is yeah but that's a UFO you take the needle mind of that Scavenge that bad boy. And you'll take the Q-snap and the thing, I'm assuming, but not right, right now. Yeah. Oh, then I've got my It's more trouble than it's worth in the middle of a video. <coughs> oh my goodness. So you've got um, your yeah. Night Spirit Studio one at the bottom there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then there's that one. My U4. Then there's that one, which... It's too small for me to work on. And then there's the other version of Trapping Mall, but I am going to take that needle minder. <laughs> I think I'm just going to repurpose most of the fabric and stuff from any UFOs. I'm just going to scavenge whatever I can get. So that's the end of box one. <laughs> Woo! We've ended with 34 active whips. More if you count the ones we you for. I'm like boiling hot. Right, give me one sec. Yeah. I've got a really cool album cover. <laughs> <laughs> so we are nearly finished um, and I was like that was one box but actually most of the whips are in one box mm. everything else I've got three boxes and they could probably be condensed into two definitely could be and then you have um, another box and then I've got a spare box Um I have just found as well um, something that we're going to do for a giveaway next week so lots of these, giveaways let's get these ones posted first oh, my nose is so itchy if you see me doing this I've got like a tickle you know what it's like oh it's not quite gone and then it starts tickling again i'm not just like being gross i just have a don't <laughs> that's horrible why would you say that because it's halloween okay. nearly um you oh, already know one. so the skywalker saga it does go around the edge of the fabric a little bit but not tons so this is saga by long dog samplers uh, it's been stitched on, I can't remember if it says 20 or 22 count, um, and I'm using Sulky and BMC for this. I love this piece. I stitched on that while we were away, um, yeah. and it's so much fun. You smashed out some of the progress on it, didn't you? It was a faff to get it into Pattern Keeper, but when I got it in, it was like, solid. A breeze. Yeah. A summer breeze. Makes you feel fine. I'm on 1780 stitches and that's 1.71%. Yep. So that's that piece. Would you want one from the pile or one of the biggies? Well, I only have one biggie left. So should we go pile and then finish with world map? Finish strong? Spoiler alert. This is Project Berg. It's called Through the Storms, I believe. I've actually left myself barely, oh my gosh, it's upside down. I've left myself barely any room on the edges, but that is fine, because it's going to be me that's having to deal with it. Um, so it says, no relationship is sunshine, is all sunshine, but two people can share one umbrella and walk through the storms together. And I love this piece, and I smashed this out in like a week. Like, not even a week. Mm. Overnight. Love it. And I've done our initials, and the date we got married at the bottom. That's actually in the wrong project bag. So I'll leave that out separate. These are um, kind of little travel cases. Yeah, because the home cases are the big ones, mm. aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, have, I literally have just pulled out like three of these. I love these. So most of my projects are in there. I see you have them dotted about the, <laughs> the room right now as we speak. So I believe this is called the Kraken by Ink Circles and I started this um, intending to finish it for Rye for our 
it was for Christmas last year. It wasn't our anniversary, right. was it? Christmas last year, and I ran out of the red um, specialty floss, so I had to buy some more, and then it wasn't going to get here in time, so I just didn't finish it. So I'd really like to finish that one. Um, I don't believe it's on. I think yeah. it's been a little while, so I'm not sure if it'll be on there. Mm. I could be wrong. It's been known to no, happen before. I don't think it's on here. Oh. I do love that piece. Forget what I said, I've never been wrong. Okay. <laughs> the look you gave me said it all. I must be missing some pieces because I know for a fact I've started a lot more. Well, last time... We, I was no, on 44. <laughs> I thought you were on 46. I was on 44, definitely. Well, we're on 37 now. Yeah, and there's only... there's. I wouldn't even not guess that there's seven. There is not. Anyway, there's more somewhere. The whips are hiding, apparently. Um, actually, I think what I did last time was I showed you ones even if I was going to yeah. unfinish them. And I haven't done that today, yeah. so that'll be what the difference is. Crouching tiger, hidden whips. So here is the holiday. I'm going to... There we go. This is the extra large version because I like to challenge myself apparently. Um, I started in the middle, worked to the edge, went up, along, look at your face, down, along, but here you might be thinking, oh there's, there's a bit of a big gap there. Yeah, miscounted and Where's the whole wrong? bottom section needs to move up by 10. And this bit over here, this was where I realised. So actually I don't really need to frog this until I'm done the piece. Because it doesn't impact it, it's just the sides that need frogging. So it's not too bad of a fix. And this is probably going to get a lot of love over Christmas. Because let's let's be honest, we all know how I am. Yeah. Love a Christmas piece. Oh, what did you get yesterday? I got mince pies! I got mince pies! I've already eaten a box. Um, I shared them with the family, it wasn't just me. I did do some damage though. Um, and I love mince pies. They're literally sat next to me. I've got my mince pies ready for after this video. I love mince pies and you don't like them. No. Nope. But I'm a big... Well, that's better for you. I text Rye this morning. He went out to the shop and I was like, can you see if they've got any mince pies? They didn't have them there. Text my mum. I was like, can you see if they've got mince pies there? They didn't have them. So we're going to have to go back to Tesco. Tesco's. That's where the mince pies are at, people. Tesco's finger on the pulse for Jess's Christmas addiction. They've got a whole Christmas aisle. I put a picture on of it on Instagram. Love it. Um... I can't remember what this is called. This is basically a little robot gardener. Oh gosh, what's it called? It's an ink circles piece. I remember that. Um, oh. Oh, when you're done doing this piece, can I get the information for the holiday, please? Oh yeah, sorry, did I no, say... I love this piece, how cute. I've just I'm called gonna, them Robo um, Gardener, so your memory will be I'll, dropped. Yeah, I'll know. I'll go and um, add yeah. it to the spreadsheet, but <laughs> I love this piece. I think it's so cute. This piece was going to be a gift, and I was like, oh, mom, I bought this piece to do for a gift, blah, blah, blah. And then the other day, I was like, oh, I've bought a different piece to do for, as a gift. And she was like, well, what about the first one? And I was like, well, you get to keep it now. I love it too much. <laughs> I need to keep it. Mm. Oh, that one's called Friendly Flower Bot, actually. Oh. I've just found the piece. Well, at least called Robo Gardener in the book. I've done 58.3%. On him? Yeah. But, 0.43, sorry. But I have only done half crosses for most of it. I need to go back in and do the other leg. Mm -hmm. um, and that's 5,790. Oh, no! What? This is the same thing that the other one did where it put in twice. So I haven't actually done that. Take 50% off that. Just cross out the five, the five. So I've done eight. Because it's gone in twice, right. so I've highlighted one fully. So I've only done 8.43%, which isn't as impressive. And I don't know the stitch count then, because I can't work it out right, I'll without just doing that. strike that from the record. Um, I need a big red pen like teachers have. What was I doing the holiday? Holiday, yeah, please. Found it. Oh. So the holiday is on 6420 stitches. Mm -hmm. That's 3.81%. Now, I do need to frog this piece and fix it, but I'd like to be on at least a percent more than it's on currently. So I'm not gonna, you know, take that off and then work it out. I'm gonna do it from now. So I need to catch fix. up and do another percent. 
This is number 40. Actually, You've been counting to make sure we didn't miss the next big number. Well, you already missed 30 again. This is my Christmas list. Um, oh, who? Silver Creek yes. samplers. Yes, yes, I yes. saw it. So I'm in the Stitch with the Housewives <laughs> Facebook group, and a lot of people did uh, conversions for it. So I'm just doing the DMC, but I'm actually doing CXE. Look, I'm sorry. I'm so proud of the way this piece looks. Look at the stitches on that. Old St. Nick. I just love it. Um, oh, we've gone blurry. There we go. There we go. Uh, Silver Creek samplers, I think this is. And I don't have a percentage or anything, oh. but I love that piece. And I actually found the project bag with <coughs> the floss for these. So I'm just going to, there we go. Nearly there. Nearly there. This is like second to last, I think. Um, this is Tap, Tap Dancers. Dances. It's another Heaven Earth design. I believe this is either a 40... Is it a long dog? Oh, sorry, yeah, a long dog samplers. I was thinking about something else then. Um, this is another 40 or 46 count. Uh, and I'm stitching it over one, one strand half cross. I absolutely love this piece. This is a gift as well. Um, <laughs> it would be great to get that piece finished this year, but... I don't know if I can do it. Um, so at the minute, I'm 12.43% of the way through, which is 3,408 stitches. 3,408. What do you say? 12.43. And you know what? I don't think you can really tell that it's not cross stitch and it's just half stitch. No, I couldn't tell. By it's quite small, it. isn't it? Right, this is your last one that we have. Oh no. Oh, no. Well, last one on the pile. Yeah. So, you know you were saying, oh, everyone likes my fabric. Mm -hmm. This is that same fabric, just in a different count. So this is it in 36 count, this Rise Leshy piece. And this is Autumn Walks Band Sampler. I want to say it's by Stitching Cabin. It's got some Krynik in there, some sparkle, uh, but the rest is DMC. And I have not done very much on this. So that is another one that I would like to smash out. But I don't have the info for that. Because it, the way that the PDF sent, I just haven't tried to put it yeah. into Pattern Keeper. Um, but yeah, I love this fabric. And I was like, I want to use it for like loads of different nice pieces. So I've got, I've done that right on the edge so that I can, you know, use the rest of it. Maximise the use of the fabric. Are we on the last one? Yep. No, oh, I thought we, we were ending on 44. I was going to say, no way have we done the exact same nope. number. I'm very sorry to disappoint you there. Sorry, everyone, I'm tired. God, we did not get to sleep till very late last night, uh -huh. and it was like, really hard to sleep with the heat. Yeah. England's just the sun at the moment. Do you know what? What? I'm not getting this piece out. So, for context, I have done the edge. If you haven't seen our other videos, I have shown it in other videos, but I'm not going to pull it all out of this fabric where it's neatly tucked. Mm. Um, so, I'm just going to show you where it is in the Q-snap right now. There we go. And I will get the stitch count for this in just a second. Yeah, of course. But, yeah. I need to... That's good. It was good, wasn't it? I need to get a move on with that piece. And I say that every time I pull it out because at the rate I'm going, I will need to live to be over 120 to get it finished. So. Make sure you get your bus pass by now. Take it with me on the bus. That's not what I'm saying. Mm. Who do you think you would get a letter off if you turned 100 then? Uh, probably. Uh, he's currently Prince George. Mm. Um, I am on... Ready? Mm -hmm. 29,750 yep. mm -hmm. stitches, which is 1.62%. And that is being stitched over two, over one, sorry, two strands over one half cross. And just in case anybody wants to see. This is what it looks like on Pattern Keeper. So, oh, let me just pull the wire a little bit. So you can see I've gone along at the top and then down and there's New Zealand down at the bottom corner. 
I'm not showing you anything so you can't see the stitches, but that's like an overview. <sighs> 43. So I've got 43 projects to work on by the end of the year. And for context, world map is uh, 1,830,800 stitches. So between shelf life and world map, I'm going to need to do 20,000, 30,000. I'm going to need to do 30,000 stitches almost. Oh my goodness, just, just on two. It, just on two. Well, good luck. Which is fine, I can do that. Um, I just need to focus and that's mm. the whole point of this. So if anyone wants to join me in the 1% slash three hours sale, um, please feel free to do so. I'm calling it the 1% sale. I can't think of a better name for it. Um, just describes what it is, basically. Does what it says on the tip. Exactly. That run sale. So, yeah, I'm like... Wiped out now. I'm glad that I've pulled everything out, actually, because now I can see, well, this is a priority, and this one is like, if I can do it, then that's mm. a win. Um, I'd like to get some stitches in on everything, but if I don't, then I'd rather get good <laughs> progress on a couple. Yeah. Um, I think, which piece would you like to see me work on? Halloween at Hawker and Hollow. That's fair. I'm going to do definitely World Map mm -hmm. and Shelf Life because yeah. they just need, they need doing yeah. They need it. Um, they need and the yeah. love. I'm like, you know when you have like something really exciting and there's a come down afterwards and you're yeah. just like, oh. I feel a bit like that. The come down is we have to tidy this away now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'll be fine though. Yeah. Um, yeah, let me know what piece you would like to see me stitch on first. So I'm probably going to do world map first first. Mm. Um, but apart from that, Out let me know. friend choice. Out of what? Friend choice. What does that mean? Choice of friends. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Um, Very bold of me to assume that everyone watching is a friend. Should we, should I make it interesting? Should I say for every piece I hit the percent on, mm -hmm. or the three hour thing, um, we'll do a giveaway? Yeah. Yeah. If we have enough stuff to give away. Well, I'll have to sauce some stuff. Start obviously. giving away all furniture. <laughs> we'll just give away the dog. <laughs> want no, I would want that. Get them um, sent back. Yeah, I'll, I'll find little bits to give away. Mm. Um, it's not going to be huge giveaways every week, but that would be a good way to hold myself to account. First is going to be the world map though, and I don't know whether to like just stitch on world map till I hit 1% or stitch on world map, create a note of how many I've done, then come back to it later and as long as I hit 1% by the end of the year, you know. Mm. Or should we save up the giveaways and at the end of the year I do like 12 giveaways all at once? 12 giveaways of Christmas. That would be good. That would there be good. Go. You heard it here first. Well, that's <laughs> if I get 12. Yeah percent done on different pieces um yeah i need to i'm gonna do world map tonight i think go for it what are you gonna work on uh probably it's leshy mm -hmm. so i'm quite enjoying working on that we have no update on the gecko rouge kits yet so i will also have another start in the middle of all of this um and some cool full coverage videos mm. but on the way. we have no idea when that is no, so right you know up in the air I'm just looking at all the pile. Yeah. Oh, we need to tie this away. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Thank, Thank you. you everyone for being so kind and lovely and warm and happy all and the so time. so helpful with recommendations. The amount of people who reach out to me and would tell me about their experiences about their child's first day of school and everything, it was like nice to not feel alone yeah. because I've got a couple of mum friends um, but like either like they're people that I used to be friends with or like friendly with and we just don't really talk anymore but I see them on social media and stuff um, so a lot of them have kids around the same age as Bella but I've got another friend whose kids younger than Bella so she's not had this yet and it's like I just felt a bit like oh god am I overreacting mm. but after I talked to a few people I was like no this is a normal thing everyone's yeah. upset when their kids go to school so yeah she's doing great though doing I don't want to talk about it too much but she's loving it mm. She's great. You can definitely tell, can't you? Mm -hmm. She was like, on Friday, she was like, oh, we've got school tomorrow. And I was like, no, but you've got ballet. And she was like, yay. <laughs> so she's loving having a busy week. Um, she won a prize. She did. She won she bubbles. Did. So I'm really proud of her. And yeah, 
thank you um for watching if you made it to the end of the video i'm gonna be very impressed and i want you to comment dinosaur because i can see bella's dinosaur book over there um yeah yeah dinosaur dinosaur um we're gonna end this here because otherwise we're just gonna yeah, talk going about random stuff hole. thank you very much for watching let me know what piece which piece you think mm. would be worth what you would like to see the most get progress in definitely if that makes sense yeah 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye.